The objective of the station is to recognize and treat a patient in cardiac arrest using two rescue and basic life support skills and resuscitation equipment. You and your partner will be evaluated individually on your performance and the directions you provide. You will then reverse roles and repeat the station. You're dispatched for an adult who was complaining of chest pain and fell to the floor at a local shopping center. The station begins with you being en route to the call, so one of you has time to prepare your bag valve mask unit and ensure that it is in working order before you arrive. When your device is ready for use, the scenario moves to you and your partner both being on scene with the victim, and you will encounter an unwitnessed traumatic arrest, non-traumatic arrest with no one performing CPR. You're expected to demonstrate assessment and management of cardiac arrest utilizing CPR, the AED, and oxygen equipment. Before you begin, you can examine the equipment and assure yourself that it is sufficient for your purposes and working properly. Please let me know when you're ready to start. Good luck. Okay. Ready to be. You're en route to the call. Okay, so en route to the call, we're going to check this under equipment. Seems safe to be a side. Coming in, I have my BBM. I'm going to assemble this, attach my mask, I'm going to attach my tubing, oxygen inlet. Attach my tubing to my regulator. My regulator is on and secure. I'm going to open the tank, set it to 15 liters, high flow oxygen, and my tank down. Make sure my reservoir bag is inflating, and that is delivering oxygen. Okay. Okay. If you uh if you feel that your equipment's ready for use, you can shut it down. We'll assume it's on for the rest of the scenario. Understood. I'm going to shut off my tank. I'll lay this down. I'm going to. Okay, and you're on scene with your patient. Okay, so we arrive on scene. Seems safe to be aside. Find the patient. Sir, sir, can you hear me? No response. I'm checking for a pulse, and I'm checking for breathing. Uh, there is no pulse, and the patient is not breathing. I'm going to direct my partner to start chest compressions. I'm going to attach my APB. Make sure I'm working around my partner. Proper please in the pads. Play the page one we analyze. Clear. Shock at five. Immediately start compressions, get at least charging Shock. while this is charging. Everyone stand clear. Everyone stand Clear the patient. I'm clear, you're clear, we're all clear. Delivering shock right on compressions. Five now I'm going to size and insert my OPA. Does my patient accept? He does. Okay. The mass seal. Head tilt, chin lift, we're in good position. Let me know when you get close to 30. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Delivering two ventilations, making sure we have good chest rise. We're going to go to ratio of 30 to 2. We're going to get at least 100 to 120 compressions. Pausing every 30 compressions. One minute, 30 Breath. 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 stop. Uh, Joe, what would happen now? At this point, we would continue at the end of the two-minute cycle. We would stop. It would reanalyze. If a shock was delivered, we would deliver a second shock. If not, we'll do a quick check for pulse, and we would switch our compressors at two minutes, Okay. continue with another cycle. Maximum number of shocks? There is no maximum. As long as there is a shock that is able to be delivered, we'll deliver a shock. Thank you. You can take apart the station. Okay. 